Let's talk about the angle bisector theorem. This is uh, deals with proportions that have uh, that are related to angle bisectors. Remember, if we have a triangle, um, we can bisect any one of the angles by drawing a ray that starts at one of the vertices, in this case A, and that ray then can go off to the other side of the triangle. And there are a number of ways to figure it. We can say that it bisects this other side over here between B and D, or that it bisects the angle A, or any number of things. But in this case, we're going to talk about it bisecting angle A. If it does, then we know that the two bits of uh, angles that are left are going to be congruent, because that's how we found where we put the line. We split that whole angle into two equal parts. And if that's the case, if this angle is bisected, then the opposite side is going to be split up into pieces from B to C here, and then from C to D. These two pieces are going to be proportional to their adjacent sides on the other part of the triangle. So that ratio will be proportional to the other two sides ratio right here. Yeah. So in other words, if, say, this section right here is 3 and this one is 2, then if this one is 9, this one would be 6. So the comparison of this side to this side will be the same as the comparison from this side to this side. And that's what that angle bisector theorem is. Um, and of course, it works with any any one of the vertices. If we were to, to go back there and instead draw Let's try doing a, oh, I don't know, a red. Say we were going to draw a bisector from down here in the lower right-hand corner at point D, and we were going to bisect that angle D. Then here in the red, we'd end up with a section here that would compare to its associated angle in the same way that this section over here compared to its associated angle. So you can see there's a number of ways to use that. Huh, and it makes kind of a cool little pattern inside the triangle. Just, you know, it's a nice little bonus. <laughs> All right, let's apply this to the example questions.